All right, guys, what's going on? So today we are out at a lake that I haven't been to in about a year or so. But we came out here and we're gonna try and get on some fish. Um, the water looks kind of clear, um, but a little muddy. So we're gonna try and find some big old bass to get into today. Um, the main thing I'm gonna throw though is the chatterbait. Now, this seems to be the biggest craze since the Bassmaster Classic and all that. Um, but I still haven't caught a fish on it. Actually, I think I've caught one fish on the chatterbait. So we're going to try and get the bass on the chatterbait today. And we're gonna throw a couple other little things, probably some finesse stuff since it's really cold right now but it's supposed to warm up this afternoon. Uh, I've probably got about four or five hours of fishing and we'll go from there. So stay tuned and let's get on the water. First fish of the day, and it is a toad. Oh man! Whew. Oh. oh man, I got a good. Oh yeah, look at that thing. That thing is chunk. Well guys, that's the first fish in this new lake today. We're probably fishing for about 20 minutes now. And I caught this guy on a little wacky rig. Let's let him go. Swims away perfectly. another chunk right there look at that thing right in the roof of his mouth mm. Second fish of the day. Nice little three pounder, three and a half pounder. Oh, 
<laughs> First fish on the chatterbait today. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Oh man, he swallowed that thing. Look at that. Swallowed that chatterbait. Right at the boat. Oh man, they're going crazy for this thing. <laughs> oh man, I probably moved I know, maybe 15 20 yards and he hammered that thing right at the boat. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. in the bag. Oh, he's a heavy one. Ugh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ugh. He also swallowed that chatterbait all the way down. Well, I caught a little squeaker. Ain't gonna help me much. But hey, it's a fish. <laughs> Man, they're just having a blast with this chatterbait here. Today, a little one. This one is monstrous. Oh, oh, and the hook just falls out. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that beauty. That's a 20 incher all day. All day. Oh. See how much she weighs. Oh shit.
Oh. Four eight. See that? Four eight. Not quite five. I don't know. That's a five pounder to me. All day. All right, let's get her back in the water. Woo! Woo! Oh man, feels good. Feels good to get another one over 20 inches for the year. Last year it took me to the end of the year and it's already April and I've got two. So we're on track to get some more. Another one on the chatterbait. This one's too small to measure. Man, he's white. He just came up. Good little fish. I didn't even feel him until I was getting ready to reel it in. <laughs> All right, guys, what is going on? Oh, man, what a day on the water. Man. I haven't had a day like that in quite some time, but I ended up catching, I, I don't know, it was probably seven or eight fish maybe, but I was super stoked about that uh, 20 inch fish just because of last year. I couldn't catch one until November, so I'm glad to have that one on the board. Um, the bait I was using today was the bait that everybody's been talking about uh, lately and it's so expensive but it catches fish as y'all can see um, it's the jackhammer chatterbait by Z-Man and you know I have some buddies that swear by it uh, they, they that's the only chatterbait they use um, I like most of the Z-Man ones except for one of them I can't remember the name um, but I mean all of them are pretty good chatterbait fishing in general is fun um, it's a good way to catch the fish when it's really you know kind of in that transition period uh, you can move it slow and it still chatters uh, you can move it really fast uh, to the top of the water column but today I was just kind of slow reeling it and man those fish were just hammering down on it so I think tomorrow, I don't know where we're going to go or what we're doing tomorrow, but hopefully we'll be able to get on some fish. It's finally getting kind of nice out, so tomorrow's supposed to be like in the 70s, so hopefully the fish are definitely moved up then tomorrow. But here in a couple weeks, I'm going down to High Rock Lake with Rob from, uh, from the team, and we're going to go fish the KBF trail down there. Um, here is a little taste of a practice, I guess you could say, because that lake is going to be pretty tough, and I'm pretty sure this lake kind of resembles some of it. Um, not the shallowness, but yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me, th let me know what you think about the, uh, jackhammer chatterbait. Would you buy it? or is it too expensive? And please subscribe down below, hit that little bell so you're notified when I come out with new videos. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.